Hey guys, on today's video, we are gonna do a bath empties. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I used up, some things I didn't use up because I didn't like and I still threw them away to show them to you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys like these kind of videos. I know I do because it really shows what people use up and what they really like, especially in an industry like this where everybody's just constantly using a lot of new products. To see that people actually finish specific products for specific reasons, I think it's really nice and refreshing to see that in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoy this bath related empties. But before we get started, my name is Alex. And if you guys are new to this channel, on this channel, I do a lot of makeup related videos, especially for oily skin and also thrift store shopping videos. So if you guys like any of those things, please consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's get started with the video. <laughs> I've been putting, pushing them off to the side in my shower, so I saw them and I'm like, I really need to do this video because they just started piling up. Some of them are wet, most of them are wet, but yeah, so I'm gonna get started. So the first thing is this. This is by the brand Makes Easy. They actually sent me this not, not too long ago, and I kind of mentioned them in a video, and I did not like this formula. Like I said in the video, you mix all the ingredients and kind of customize it to your liking. I just don't know if it was the combination of things that I chose that I didn't like. I don't know, the shampoo I think was my favorite out of the boat. Actually, let me get the conditioner out as well. The shampoo, I did like it for like my hair because it did, I feel like get rid of a lot of that oil buildup and product buildup, but it wasn't moisturizing, it wasn't anything special. I honestly felt like I was using like a suave shampoo. For that reason, I did use it up, but didn't like it as much as I thought I would. This is the conditioner right here and with all the ingredients that I chose, I thought it was going to be more of like a moisturizing conditioner because I did choose a lot of their ingredients for moisturization, hydration, all that stuff. But the conditioner was super thin. So I, it's actually still full. I just did not, I couldn't finish it. For a while, I was using it to like shave my legs, but I have, which you'll see right here too, I do have something else for that. I just didn't like it. And for that reason, I'm just going to throw it out. I just... Did not enjoy it. Next thing in this bag is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell. And the only reason I'm showing you perfume is because I keep my perfumes in my bathroom. And this perfume smells so, so good. I used it all summer long and it's empty pretty much. There is a few drops, but I tried to take them out and it just doesn't work. My boyfriend loves this. It's like, like the original Bombshell, but it has like a citrusy note added to their summer version and it just smells so good so refreshing not super fruity but it's kind of like that fresh fruity scent so it just it just smells so good and the bottle screens summer i think this is the third or the second year that i use it the first year i actually got the big bottle and they had like a kit where it had like the lotion the bottle and like a little mini one and it sold out. This is a very popular scent. If you guys can get your hands on this scent, if you guys do like fresh fruity smells, try and get this one for next summer because it smells so, so good. Next product is this. This is all the way empty. I've actually gone through a couple bottles of this one. This is the Kevin Murphy Untangled Leave-In Conditioner. It smells so good. I don't know if there is lavender in it, but it smells, it smells so good. And it has really good ingredients. So. When I shampoo and condition my hair, sometimes I do get knots. I don't get knotty a lot, but I like spraying something like this in my hair because it allows the hair to air dry nicely because it retains the moisture in your hair as it air dries. I don't blow dry my hair ever. It's been a long time since I blow dried my hair with an actual like blow dryer. I like to air dry because my hair, like this is air dried right now. My hair is pretty frizz free. It's pretty straight which i don't like i i try to curl it as much as i can but today i just i didn't curl it you have a lot of different ones this isn't my only favorite one i do have others that i'm i'm currently using the redken united and that one's really good the next product is this one this is the lush ocean salt face and body scrub this one cracked me up because it says it's one of their best-selling vodka infused scrub it's supposed to brighten and smooth your skin I wasn't a big fan of it and this is why it does smell like vodka it's kind of funny when you're in the shower it just smells like you're drinking something in the shower and you can still kind of smell 
the liquor in it. But I just didn't like the size of the salts that are in here. I feel like if the salts were more finer, you would get more of a better like scrubbing action. The salt almost looked like little pieces of glass and I just didn't like, it didn't, I don't know, it just, that even sounds kind of scary, but it didn't really do much. I don't even know what the vodka is supposed to do. Maybe brightening, maybe the alcohol in it kind of like brightens up your skin, but I just don't know. I was gonna say, I would have purchased this, but a friend gave me this one and I just didn't like it. But um, it was nice while using it. Like I just didn't like, I just didn't like it. I just didn't like it. So yeah, but I will show you this that she also gifted me and I would totally buy this one again. This one is the Defluff Strawberry Shaving Soap. Oh my God, this smells so good. And it was actually very, very nice to shave with this. It smells so good, it's pink. And it looks like whipped cream inside. And when you scoop out and put it on your legs, it bubbles up and then it allows you to shave. And after you rinse it out, your skin is left feeling very smooth and hydrated. I just really did enjoy this one. So actually this one I would repurchase. And again, it was gifted, but I think I am gonna buy this one again because I did really enjoy this one. The next empty is this one. This one is by, the, by Bath & Body Works. All of their room sprays are so, so good. One spray in the bathroom is, is where I keep it, in the bathroom. It really does a good job of like masking a lot of odors and the one spray goes a long way. I feel like if I spray it once in the morning, it pretty much smells the whole day. Even after like towards the night, I can still smell a little bit of the spray. This one is their Aromatherapy Relax Lavender Cedarwood Room Spray. This one's really nice for the fall. It's really nice and warm. But for the for the summer, the my favorite one for the summer is their watermelon lemonade. Oh my god, it smells so good. I would keep that one in my purse forever, you know. You know, sometimes you need one in your purse. Every time I would spray it like at work or whatever, uh, a lot of the girls were like, what is that? That smells so good. My next empty is this. I did a video about this company and their razors, and I really do enjoy shaving with this sage gel. It's uh, infused with aloe vera. It's nice and minty. Like when you're using it, it looks like like it feels pepperminty, kind of cooling. So when you shave, it really does feel really nice and comfortable. I wouldn't say it's something exceptional. I think it's more like the experience that you feel when you're shaving because of the smell and the scent. I do feel like the Defluff from uh, Lush is a little bit more moisturizing than this one. And it's funny because in the back, they give you like lottery numbers. Just try and they'll give you like a sequence for lottery numbers. I wonder if anybody's ever tried that, but um, yeah. The next empty is this one. It looks cool, but I've already tried squeezing as much as I can out and it doesn't come out. This one has like two tubes. So like the main tube and then like the inside tube have separate ingredients that are activated as they're squeezed out and, you know, emulsified together. This one is the Redken Extreme Mega Mask. I recommend this mask at work all the time to the clients that want to grow their hair out and are prone to breakage. Usually it means that your hair is weak and it needs protein. So their Redken um, Extreme line is really, really good. And I like this one as a mask. And again, this treatment is a treatment for distressed hair, damaged hair. It really adds a lot of protein back into your hair, which is usually what goes away when you color treat your hair. And if you do a lot of heat styling, you're gonna need more moisture when you heat style. Because when, when you heat style, you're taking out that, that moisture. You're drying out your hair. You're, applying heat to it so when you heat style you need more moisture when you color treat and bleach your hair and stuff like that or decolorize sorry i don't like saying bleach but when you decolorize your hair you need more protein in your hair because that's what you lose when you color treat so this is a good one and like i said i color my hair a lot i grow from dark to blonde and this and that so this has helped and saved my hair from a lot of breakage my hair is pretty long and this mask is really, really good. This whole line is really good. Hi, I'm gonna color my hair pretty soon. I think maybe this week. I'm gonna go dark, so like a chocolate brown, but I'm gonna try and keep it more dimensional instead of like one flat color because I'm not a fan of like one flat dark color. Especially dark, I feel like you need some dimension in your hair when it's dark. So I'm gonna try to do some like different tones of the brown 
and see how it looks. I'm kind of excited because it's been a while since I've been dark. So we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, this, this mask is pretty good. All right, so I left this skincare for last because I wanted to talk to you guys about what I'm currently using for my skincare. But this is what I was using and not that it's bad, it's just I went to get a facial and I'll, I'll explain it. Okay, so this is one of the empties that I have. This is the Pacifica Coconut Milk Cream to Foam Face Wash. I did enjoy this one. It is cruelty free, vegan. This brand is just really, really good. I love this brand. I've made a couple of videos about this brand. Their facial spray, their matte facial spray is super super worth it i like it but this one it's supposed to remove makeup it cleanses and de-stresses your skin like i said i did like it so it's all the way empty and had i not purchased these other products that i'm going to show you guys i think i'd still repurchase this one this one was completely worth my money this one not so much this is the ole regenerist uh anti-aging regenerating regenerating cream cleanser i didn't like it as much as this one so if i were to choose one of these I would definitely pick the Pacifica. This one just didn't really do a lot of hydrating. I felt like my skin wasn't really clean when I used it. And it had little beads that really would scrub your skin, but I've learned that that's not good for your skin. So this one, even though I did finish it, I would never repurchase it ever again, just because I found these other products. So I'm gonna show you those. Before I talk about those products, I wanted to show you this. This is not empty. But I saw this in the bathroom and I had to talk to you guys about it. It is almost empty. It's kind of like right down here. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Defrizzing Cleansing Conditioner. And the reason why I just couldn't help but bring it up in this video is because I don't wash my hair every day. I wash my hair maybe once every four days. And I have seen a very dramatical difference in how oily my hair gets if i wash it every day i feel like it gets oilier quicker and i've always had that issue with like okay so if i don't wash my hair every day what happens if i exercise or if i do a workout and my hair is just super like sweaty and i feel like it smells am i just gonna leave it or am i gonna just you know wash it again and then maybe it'll feel oily after i wash it so i got this um during a hair show and i actually hauled it in a video of mine and i started using it i love it the whole concept it's a cleansing conditioner so it's not gonna bubble up or strip your hair or do a lot of that stuff so on the days that i do work out i jump in the shower and i actually wash with this and it it's almost like i didn't really wash it but i did so i actually used it yesterday yeah i used it yesterday and honestly i felt like my hair really is cleansed but not to the point when i use like the my just normal everyday shampoo this one is a right is a nice in between like if i feel like i do have that build up or like that sweat from a workout i jump in the shower i wash with this and it's almost like it doesn't count as a wash because it doesn't bubble up like i said it doesn't strip your hair from any oils and my hair even though it doesn't bubble up it feels clean so this is a nice alternative for those that are still trying to now wash your hair every day but work out a lot this is really nice to use in between washes i hope that makes sense i'm gonna link it down below so you guys can see where you guys can find it and if you guys want a video of like bath products that i have even though they're not empty and just want to see what I use on a regular basis, give this video a thumbs up and I'll do a video like that because I do know a lot about hair. I do hair for a living. So um, if you guys want something like that and yeah, just give this video a thumbs up and I'll make sure to do that video. Okay, so the products that I wanted to show you guys are these. I went to get a facial not so long ago and the facial, the esthetician that I went to was so good, so knowledgeable. I've never met an esthetician that knew so much about skincare and internally as well. A lot of the estheticians that I've met want to fix your skin with a lot of products and although that is nice and some products do work, this esthetician talked a lot about how like my diet, what I take in, what I eat, what I don't eat really does affect the way your skin looks. I did tell her about my oily skin concerns and she said that I should moisturize more 
and I know that but I just I to have a regimen like I would just sometimes wash my face and moisturize if I remembered or sometimes I would go to bed with my makeup I'm not gonna lie punish me if you want to in the comment section but as of lately I think it's almost been three weeks or two weeks three weeks maybe since I went and got a facial and she really convinced me into getting these products starting a regimen and honestly you guys my skin has definitely improved in just those three weeks i have tried eating a little bit better something that i have been doing is drinking a lot of water and i feel like my skin has been really good i'm oily this channel is all about oily skin but i feel like my skin is normalizing a little bit because of this regimen. When I put the moisturizer on, I almost feel like it's not as moisturizing because I feel like now I need more moisture. I don't know what it is, it's so crazy. Enough talking. This is the Purify Enzyme Cleanser by the brand Osmosis, is what she uses. This one has uh, kumquat, fruit extract, kiwi extract, neem, fruit extract, orange, oil, citrus, you know, all of these things that are really good for your skin and this cleanser I feel like doesn't dry out my skin she told me that whenever you have a cleanser that you feel like your skin is super tight it's not a good cleanser so your skin shouldn't feel like that after you cleanse a, a cleanser shouldn't really strip your whole face out of everything you know it shouldn't feel like it's super tight and, and uncomfortable and with me having oily skin I used to think that that was acceptable because it felt like oh no more oil but this cleanser has really i've really been enjoying this cleanser and it doesn't dry out my skin it has enzymes that help exfoliate the skin naturally instead of using something that has the scrubs in it um so yeah i've been enjoying that cleanser after i cleanse with this in the morning i've been using this and this is the ultra sheer spf 30 to help protect my skin from the sun and as well as you know moisturize my skin throughout the day so this is what i've used in the morning and it has really really helped and then at night i use the same cleanser and then i moisturize with this this is their osmosis quench intense moisturizer it's made for dry skin but like i said i feel like when as i've been using these products it has been kind of normalizing my skin and even though this is made for dry skin it just really has felt like my skin actually needs this moisture and actually utilizes the moisturizer to counteract oiliness i don't know what it is it's so crazy so i wanted to talk to you guys about these empties and why i'm not repurchasing those i've been using these look into this brand if you guys are in the chicago line area oakbrook is where she works out of i could actually leave her information down in the description box below so you guys can check her out she's so sweet and she really is a very knowledgeable esthetician she even wrote a book that gave me when i left the appointment she actually put it in my um bag and that book is like amazing it touches everything as far as like food allergies and like how our body reacts to like a lot of different foods and i don't know i just i've been enjoying the whole experience with her so i can't wait for my next facial appointment with her but yeah i wanted to show you guys what i've been using as of now and yeah that is it i hope you guys had fun watching this video and watching all these different empties that i've had in my bathroom if you guys enjoyed this type of video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.